My next question is, how did men view women working and what kind of jobs were women allowed to do? Well, again, it was men in charge, mostly. Um, my mother was a housewife, as I've said, although she'd worked as a single person before the war and went, went into the rents. Um, and uh, she raised us. Um, she worked in a factory as an accounts clerk to the manager. Um, she was, she was, as I said, she was a very clever woman, really. But again, men tended to view women as subordinates to serve and help them. Um, so um, she was very keen that my sister and I had the opportunities that, that she didn't have. I was luckier in the 60s, um, but then I wasn't threatening any men's jobs. It was holiday jobs as students and there were always plenty, it was a different world. So I worked in a linen shop um, on a Saturday and of course we were female assistants and the manager was male. I worked in a clothing knitwear factory one summer holiday, um, mostly women on the shop floor. Um, and one man and a couple of uh, us women checking the, um, the, the jumpers and everything before they were the packaged up. I don't know if the boss was a man, but you know, that's how it was. And I had two holiday jobs in the same factory where my mum worked in the office and that was packing mushrooms and apples from a conveyor belt for Sainsbury's and again mostly women although the men would do the forklift truck stuff and so on. Um, sometimes I made up the boxes, um, cardboard boxes which was generally a male job uh, and there was a male manager. <laughs> Um, the Christmas post I did, I loved that, but that was men and women and we were all together in that and whether the pay was the same, I don't know. I was just pleased to be there. <laughs> <laughs> so I, again, I'm not sure about um, women and work across different social classes. Um, a lot of women had to work, you know, um, to get extra money or because of circumstances. Um, so, you know, I, I can't make broad generalisations, but again, more opportunities for work were coming throughout the 60s and it was through education. And whatever people think now about the split between grammar schools and secondary modern schools, it helped me because we were made to work so hard because they wanted us to go to university and generally we were sort of capable of it. Um, so in my school in the 60s, the top set did Latin, second set did German, and the third set did more practical things, typing and cooking. I hardly had any cooking, needlework or art, a term or something in the first year, um, because we were university fodder, but that was in order to raise our opportunities and expectations and belief that we could do something, um, you know, as women. And I, I'm eternally grateful. It wasn't so good for p kids in the secondary moderns because there was still this assumption from men and society in general that um, women would become secretaries or factory workers or hairdressers or, you know, something like that. And what should have happened is that as uh, there should have been some cross cross-referencing if somebody was a late developer for example they should have been sent then onto the grammar school um, because obviously it, it caused a divide but the interesting thing about education is that some women from working class backgrounds passed their 11 plus but didn't go to grammar school because they felt that they were leaving leaving their culture and uh, they'd be got at or disapproved of or they'd be different so they would stay with with there which was sad but understandable you know mm. but generally men thought women were not equal